All right, so it's been a while since I've made a video for my YouTube channel. And I know that you can only see the top of my head, and I'm sorry for that, but I'm driving. And this is the best way I know to make a video and still basically keep my eye on the road. Because I don't have a handset or a, uh, whatchamacallit. I don't have a thingy that your phone goes on <laughs> in your car. So, I wanted to get on here and let you know how our family's doing, and we're doing all very well. Um, I have completely stopped breastfe breastfeeding Ezra. It's been now a few months um, since I completely stopped. And I will tell you this, it's been very hard on me emotionally, and it's mainly just because it is my last baby, and I feel like I was kind of robbed of that closeness, but... I did get a lot of closeness with him because I, I did something I didn't do with the other three, which was I did um, strict breastfeeding only. So he was exclusively breastfeeding, no bottle at all until I went back to work. And that's when he started um, getting a bottle. And even then, it was mostly um, breast milk that we were feeding him. So, because I was able to pump and then it just, it just beca became an issue of, of pumping while at work and anyway. So he's going to be 10 months old on the 26th, and um, he had a check appointment la last week. Uh, he was 22.4 pounds and 30 and a quarter inches long. Uh, he's got, oh, I want to say he's got six teeth all together. And um, and then he's got like a couple coming in as well. He's got two on the bottom, and then he's got four on top. Uh, two have come all the way through, and then another two on top have uh, they're they just broke the skin. He is eating baby food on a regular basis, and he gets a bottle every was was about every time he gets baby food, he gets a bottle. Um, I'm hoping to break him of that because, and I know most parents are sitting there going, why is he he's still under a year old? Okay, well, my girls and Sebastian, all three were off the bottle at eight months old. And they were strictly doing nothing but baby food. And obviously, we were experimenting with whatever, you know. As, you know, I was, well, with Sebastian, we were a bit more strict just because he was our first, and I didn't know what we could try and what we couldn't try, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, now that we've had practice as parents, well, I have, because Ron was already a parent before me and him got together. Okay, so that's neither here nor there, and I, I realize that I'm going to really have to edit this video. <laughs> um, which I usually don't edit my videos. I usually just flash them on YouTube and let you guys enjoy the whole thing, because I figure if I think it's funny, then you'll think it's funny. Um... So I have been going to the doctor myself because I've had a bit of an issue with uh, blood pressure and my weight. And so um, I gained 60 pounds when I was pregnant with Ezra. And I lost half of it when I had him. And then I gained it right back. So, um, so I'm not happy about that. And so basically for the last few months I've been going to the doctor. I have been off of soda for about three months or longer, and um, I try to stay away from fast food as much as I possibly can, and if I go to fast food, I try to get the healthiest thing if there is even as a healthy fast food that you can possibly get. Um, I have a huge issue with uh, my sweet tooth. It is horrible, as my boss, Sean, would say, horrible. Um, I love ice cream, and when I get a craving for it, I have no willpower whatsoever, and it's like a person that is addicted to cigarettes and doesn't have them at the time. They get very upset, get very frustrated, and irritable, and yeah, it's not good for my household at all. So I have been seeing the doctor until recently, and that's mainly because um, where he practices at is a medical group, and they are horrible with their appointments. So they've rescheduled my appointment twice now, and I've had enough. 
and I'm not going to keep rescheduling and telling work, oh, yes, I'm going to need to leave early, or yes, I'm going to blah, 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 whatever. I love this jack wagon behind me. Anyway. So, I am not going to be going back to the doctor, but I have started exercising. I finally had Ron put together my elliptical, which we've had since April, <laughs> and um, I started last week on Monday, which was the, I want to say it was the, what day was it last week? I don't remember what day it was. Was it the 18th last Monday? Anyway, last Monday, I, so not yesterday, because today's Tuesday, so not yesterday, but last Monday, I worked out and did not, was not able to do that very long on the elliptical at all. And I was pouring sweat, and I felt really good, you know, about 15 minutes after. I felt, well, 15 minutes, like, right after I got off, I felt extremely like I was going to throw up. And that's just from letting myself get overheated. So, but 15 minutes after, and I had cooled down, I felt really, really great and tired, which is good, because... I need exercise to help me go to sleep anyway. Um, and then the next day, <clears throat> my cycle decided, decided to come, which <laughs> I'm not going to work out during that. So I had to go be off of it until yesterday. And um, and so I get on, and I was able to do a minute longer than I did last week, which is a good start. And then on top of that, I was able to do crunches, and I did some... Strength, uh, leg strengthening exercises as well. Um, they're more of a, not endurance, but like a stamina type thing. Anyway, um, so I did that, and then tonight I plan on doing that as well. Um, and now we're going into seven minutes already. The girls are doing good. Uh, they are both speaking so much lately, and it's amazing the sentences that they put together because they are far and few between because at the age of two, and I know this happened with with um, Sebastian too, they hit two, and yes, they do say words, and yes, they do say sentences, but most of the time they whine and cry because they are transitioning from being a baby to being a toddler, and it's a little bit difficult, especially for the parents. So we're still working with them on that. Um, they have been out of the crib since a little bit before their second birthday. Or no, it would be after their second birthday. Um, so they do sleep in their own toddler bed. They still take a nap. They do really well at daycare. They like going, and we like taking them. Uh, Sebastian started preschool, and he does very well there. There's been a couple incidents, but we've been told by his teacher that most of the kids have incidents there. So um, especially in preschool, they, you know, they want to test the boundaries. So we've been working with Sebastian on that. He's doing really well otherwise. Um, they actually do homework, which I found weird because I don't recall, like, my brothers or anything when they were in preschool. I don't remember them having homework. Um, so I don't know. And what else? Um, my 30th birthday is coming up. I am not excited about it whatsoever. So instead of having a birthday party like most people normally plan so that way all the attention is on them. I am taking a vacation. It's going to be a small one, but a vacation nonetheless. I'm going to take my birthday off and because it happens to fall on a Friday. And I'm going to go up to Oregon with my husband. And we are going to spend some much needed time alone. And we're going to spend it in a cabin and it's going to be on the beach and I'm going to be very happy. So we're excited about that. And so I have a month to count down until and, until I, my birthday. And I wasn't excited at first, but now that we're going to be going to this cabin, I have a reason to be excited about my birthday, which is good. So I have now reached home, and I'm going to get out, and I'm going to go work out. And I'm going to try to load this video up. I'm sorry that you only got to see half my face and not even my eyes because I'm wearing my sunglasses. So, here we go. Yeah, that doesn't look attractive anyway.